morning again and welcome to the Gateway to Heaven Ministry. I know some of you are probably wondering uh, why I'm dressed like this. Well, you see this ninth chapter of St. John talks about a, a blind man and we'll see the mercy and compassion of Jesus Christ as he uh, gives favor to this man. Now, usually uh, the blind man would have a, a stick and he'd more or less be dressed like this. He would have uh, maybe uh, some shades on, perhaps, uh, maybe not. Um, and uh, he would have a, a mat. And this is what he would put on the ground uh, and he would sit on this, you see. And all these things they have. And, and what happens is, when, whenever they get healed, they would throw all of this away and, and begin a new life. And we'll see some, some exciting things uh, in the life of Christ as he heals not just one but many uh, blind men. But this particular uh, story is very, very unique in itself because this man was born blind and the people had never seen a miracle like this before. So let me just uh, put this down. Um, I really wouldn't need uh, uh, this anymore. Um, so we'll just put this aside here and uh, I'll, I'll keep this on for a while because I'll show you how this thing works. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I'm dressed here now as a blind man, I'm not blind. Um, I can see. Uh, I was born, uh, thanks to God, with my eyesight. Um, I was, however, blind spiritually until I, until I, I, I met the Lord Jesus Christ and received His Word and received His, His gift of salvation. My heart uh, was changed and, and now uh, I'm no longer blind. Now I, now I can see thanks to Jesus Christ. And Father, I pray this morning that all those who are watching this program, all those who may be blind, uh, naturally or spiritually, or even both, Father, I pray that this word today uh, would, would enlighten them and that you, the light of this world, will come into their hearts and make a great change. And Lord, I'm, we're going to give you all the praise and all the glory for this in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. Now, I'll just take my shades off. Because I really don't need this right now. Uh, now. I said I'm not blind, but I do have a little impediment in my sight. And so I wear uh, glasses, prescribed uh, glasses. So John chapter 9 talks about uh, this blind man. Now, uh, it's, it's actually Jesus' fifth sign. Uh, to illustrate that he is in fact the light uh, of the world. Now, uh, uh, we literally need light to see. You see, and this, this blind man, Jesus, uh, uh, actually was merciful unto this man. And, uh, and through that, this man was able to see. He was able to come out of his darkness and into God's marvelous light, as we will see later on in the chapter. But let's begin the reading. The Bible says, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. Now, this is very important to understand, that this man was blind from his birth. And to everyone, you know, we're looking and we're examining everyone, I want you to listen to this. Because there's a lesson in, in this uh, chapter, as there is in all of the chapters. The Bible says again, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Who did sin? His disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Now see, there is, there is a tradition here. There is a, a teaching here from the Old Testament. And I'm going to go back to read that for you so that you can get the message. It's in the book of Exodus. It's in Exodus, uh, uh, chapter 20, chapter 20, in the book of Exodus, it says, Jesus says that, I am the Lord thy God, I'm a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth uh, generation for those who hate me. See, this, this was it, and, and based on that, 
the, um, the disciples ask who did sin. So they figure it's a generational thing that happened. Now there's an iniquity that, that is passed on from one generation to another. Now again, Jesus denies uh, this as being the cause. You see, this is, is, is was providential in its cause. This was to show the providence of God, as Jesus himself would say. Um, as we continue to read, Jesus answered, he says, Neither had uh, this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. 